welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i hope you're all very well now i haven't got my glasses on but i can see in the viewfinder i hope my lipstick isn't crazy because it looks as though this is just a big red circle hopefully it's not smudged who knows we're gonna battle on anyway so today's video one of my favorite videos to make it's my favorites video so i used to do these every month but i found myself contriving them to sort of fit things that i'd experienced in that month and put it into my favorites so doing these as a sort of quarterly thing means that i can be a bit more as i'm enjoying them thinking this is definitely making my favorites for this quarter so these are the um my favorites from july august and september now you'll all know i'm not a big lover of the weather <laughs> in july and august so a lot of these favorites have um happened in the the, the most recent month september and um, i'll start with two things that i saw at the cinema which are actually two um, theatre productions. So my local cinema, where David and I are um, members of, which is lovely, so it means we can go and see all the... Well, I mean, you pay a nominal price. I'm sure this works everywhere where there's a cinema pass. And... Um, you get to go and watch as many films as you want in the year, uh, in the month. So with the National Theatre stuff, which they do a sort of live stream of performances they're on at the moment, you get to go and see it for a cheaper price. So I think I paid twelve ninety five to go and see both of these things. Um, and I think normally they're nineteen ninety five if you go and see them at the cinema. Um, I don't know how much theatre tickets are, but like going to London for me is quite the the big to do. Um, it costs fifty pounds to get to London on the train from where um, I live. Uh, that's not including parking at the place where um, you'll have to park that's not including the tube that's not including potentially going out for dinner um, that's not including having to leave work early in order to get there in time and stuff like that so in order to so for this as an opportunity to go to my local cinema and watch things that are on at the national at the moment absolutely amazing i'll definitely definitely be doing it more so that's my one of my favorite experiences anyway from the past three months but the two things i saw were both absolutely fantastic the first thing i saw was prima Faki, which is a one-woman show um starring jodie coma you know jodie coma from killing eve and other stuff um what did i see her in free guy I've seen her in a few things. Um, and this was absolutely amazing. So this is um, following Jodie's character in her um, uh, in her chambers. She's working as a defence um, barrister, um, for mainly for sexual assault cases. And then something happens to her and that sort of changes the view that she has on, um, on her work, how she's performing her work. And yeah, it was just the most affecting. I never, I've never seen a one person show before so I didn't know how I would feel about it but I was so into it and it affected me so much that on my way home I was just literally like crying <laughs> I was just gonna believe it it was amazing she her performance was amazing it was almost like a choreography type thing like the amount of stuff she had to sort of change around she was pushing tables herself and doing things and costume changes eating pop noodles just absolutely amazing like if you get the opportunity to see it then please please do i don't know if it's still on at the national at the moment but absolutely incredible and then the other one is one i saw more recently so i went to watch prima Faki on my own and then i saw much ado about nothing um and me my mum and my sister went um i didn't know anything about the um the, the shakespeare play of this my sister studies it she's an english teacher so my sister studies it all the time so she had quite a good time watching it um being very familiar with the film it's got emma thompson in and also the text obviously as she teaches it um but the costumes are amazing they'd adapted it so it was set in a hotel um on the italian riviera costumes were amazing the set was amazing it was really funny like it had Catherine Parkinson in it, and she is such an amazing comic actress. I, but to be honest, I was most familiar with her through um, Taskmaster. She was on a recent series of Taskmaster, um, and I didn't realise how, like, how much of a talented actress she was. Absolutely fantastic, and like the way they sort of made it so accessible. Like, even if I'd have been watching it without hearing what they were saying I still think I would have understood what was going on because the story was just told so beautifully and like I said there were some really 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 funny bits in there as well so both of those fantastic and if you live near a cinema or can get to a cinema which shows things that are showing at the National um, National Theatre Live I think the, um, the scheme's called please please take it because you get a, a perfect seat like you wouldn't be able to get a better seat than what you're seeing on these um, and it saves you all the money and the hassle of getting to London and back so Please, please, please do try it. Next up, it's a, it's a something for my skin. Now my skin seems to be 
quite bad at the moment. I've just been away for a weekend and we were in and out the hot tub all weekend and also I feel like the temperatures dropped a bit, not lots, but like my skin and I wasn't drinking much water as well. So my skin seems to be really bad, but something that was helping my skin before that weekend away and I didn't take this with me so this is probably why is a new exfoliator from Lush enzymic don't know what that means uh, facial exfoliator but called happy skin now this smells to me like marzipan it's almondy I really love the um Almondy or almondy? Almondy. Um, vitamin rich and full of ground tagua nut and bamboo combo. This exfoliator will help gently clear and cleanse your skin. And it is a very gentle exfoliator. Um, so it's very sort of, not even as, as grainy as sand, I would say. Sort of like blitz down sand. And particularly around this area, which is where I seem to be most dry. It's really, really nice and smells lovely. And the smell sort of like stays on your skin, but not in an overwhelming way. But yeah, absolutely love that. So perfect. Next up is something... As I said, I've been, I've been battling through the summer months trying to get through them in order to enjoy some autumn because I love autumn so much. And one of my favourites I put down here was the feeling of sitting down to Marmite on toast and a cup of tea after cleaning for the first time in a month. There was a breeze, there was cooler weather. I was able to clean because it was too hot to even sort of like get up and do hoovering or, or scrub a shower and stuff like that. So it was a lovely feeling for the temperature to have dropped and just to be able to sort of feel like you've done something in your house and then sit down to Marmite on toast and a cup of tea. Perfection. So that was one of my favorite moments of the month. Um, couple of, well, one telly thing in particular is that House of Games is back on TV. House of Games, Richard Osman's House of Games. It's a telly program that David and I got into um, at the end of the last series, which I think was sort of the first quarter of the year. Um, this is um, a, it happens, it's during the week and it's sort of like tea time telly. Um, and Richard Osman has a, a series of celebrities come on and they just do lots of like puzzles and things together. And David and I watch it every day. We say at the beginning of the program, should we get a hundy P David? And between us, we need to get 100% of the answers right. Now we've never got past the, f the first round and I think there's five rounds <laughs> in there. But we said we are going to get a hundy P, 100% by Christmas. So stick with us and I'll let you know when we get a handy P. Um, but yeah, really, really great look, look, sort of like geography, quizzes, word quizzes, photo stuff, music, intros round. Just a great show and just sort of screams autumn because I remember watching, or screams like cold and weather because I remember watching it before in the cold weather. So very happy with that. Then a couple of clothes items. The first one being this shirt that I bought secondhand from Depop. It's originally from Top uh, Topshop. I bought it um, because I thought it would be perfect for my Catherine Howard vlog. So in um, Six the Musical, Catherine Howard wears pink. So I thought this would be amazing. And I had such a lovely time wearing it. I'll link the Catherine Howard vlog down below so you can see me wearing it. It's a lovely sort of oversized shirt. I've been really into this sort of style of wearing oversized shirts. I've also got another one that I got secondhand from Depop, um, which is green. But this is just lovely, comfy, really, really nice. And when I had it on, I just felt lovely. You know, like sometimes you've got an outfit and you just think, I look really good today. Now. Loved wearing that, but also I sort of rediscovered an, an, an old top that I hadn't worn. So this is this black top that I bought from Uniqlo years ago, and it's a knitted crop top. But as you can see, it's sort of quite racer back, front and back, that's the same. Um, and I didn't have a bra that I could wear with it. All of my bras were sort of just, tra straps were hanging out. I have never found a strapless bra that actually works, so I wasn't going to do that. Then I realised that one of my sp sports bras is literally this shape. So when I've, I've been able to wear this top that I bought years ago that I haven't ever worn, um, and this goes perfectly with that. So two sort of like rediscovering something already in my wardrobe and buying something secondhand that I've had a lovely time with. So there we go. Um, another favourite has been using the library. I made a... Um, uh, one of my New Year's resolutions this year, or my reading resolutions, was to read to, to use the library more. And about a third of my reading this year has been from the library. And that's not even including the books that I've listened to on the Libby app, um, because that is also part of my library, uh, the audio books that I've listened to on the Libby app. Um, I am a member of two libraries and yeah, I've been putting reservations on um, the library that's closest to my place of work. They have an enormously big range um, and reservations are free, which is amazing. So I've been doing that and then I've got a library which is closer to where I live um, and that's one pound a reservation. And if, the, if I can't get the books that I want from the, the, the library which is nearer the workplace, which to be honest is where I go to the most because it's really close to my workplace, um, then I'll put reservations on there and I've done that recently as well. So it's been really, really lovely to use the library and not spend as much money on books 
and be able to return them and know that other people are going to... And what's been great as well is that all of these books that I've put reservations on have got massive waiting lists, which though is sort of like, oh, I've got to wait a few weeks to get this book, is so good that so many people are using the library. Makes me feel so happy. Um, so yeah, it's also made... I've recently, you would have seen in my book, uh, my book and library hall recently, um, a lot of my library books have a two-week hold on them. So because they're popular books, they're like, look, you've only got two weeks with these. And it's encouraged me to actually read them rather than what I do is buy books. They languish on my shelves for years and then I just never get to read them. So having a two week wait on there, I'm like, I know other people want to read this, get this read. Now I'm working my way through um, lessons in chemistry at the moment because of that very reason. So very pleased with how much I've been using the library. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, which was a favorite thing is your support for me in my recent endeavor of um, drop in a day at work. So I've been wanting to do this for honestly years, basically since when I started the YouTube channel. So it takes, I guess it takes like, it takes effort. I, I, I've I factored it into my life now, but it really does take a lot of effort to film these videos. So what you're seeing now, whether this be, I mean, it's 11 minutes already. So whether this be sort of 15, 20 minute video, that's not included the time I've got everything ready for it. The editing, which probably takes double that time, the making the thumbnail, the uploading it, the trying to find the time within my week to do that, as well as having a full time job and as well as trying to sort of like entertain my relationships with David and my friends and other stuff. So I've always wanted to be able to drop down a, a day a week at work in order to accommodate that. Um, and um, I've had various managers throughout my time working in my NHS job. And my, my most recent manager, when I mentioned it to her, was like, yeah, of course you can do that. But it, it came with a sort of like, we'll do it in September. So I've known that this would potentially be happening since about April, but hadn't sort of fully thought to myself, this is gonna happen because it hadn't happened in the past. So I kept it to myself. And then when it came to that first Friday um, in September that I was able to, to, to be at home and to, to make videos and to answer comments. And you might notice that I've been getting back to a lot more of my comments because previously I was literally like, right, get the video uploaded, think about the next video. Like now I've got time to sort of like interact with you guys on here. And I've been doing these reading vlogs on a Friday, which I've been loving. I've only done two so far, but I'm already looking forward to the next one and like just <clears throat> in the video where I announced that I would be doing this because I've now put up a video on a Tuesday previously my uploading schedule was Thursday and Sunday now it's Tuesday Thursday and Sunday so many people like literally you were all so wonderfully lovely to say like this is so exciting for us as well as for you and like you were saying how happy I seemed in that video and yeah it was just so lovely so thank you so much for your support thank you so much for just watching the videos and giving them a thumbs up and a comment like I love to chat with you guys and I've got more time to do that now um and yeah I really like the Friday videos I will link them both down below if you haven't seen them. I'm gonna make them into a uh, playlist when we've got three videos uh, there but yeah so I, I um these Friday vlogs, which as I said, I'm loving filming already, they're gonna be sort of like formulaic. So wake up in the morning, make myself a cup of tea, pick a book that I'm gonna read that day, ask you a bookish question, which we then answer at the end of the video, along with a poem. And then in the middle is gonna be some sort of like everyday stuff. Um, and yeah, they've just been so, so lovely. So thank you so much to everybody um, who said, I'm really excited for you or hurrah more videos and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm really, really delighted. And then a couple of people even sent me videos, uh, even sent me books from my wish list just to say, um, so thrilled for you. So that was just an extra cherry on top of all the pile of loveliness. So really, really, really appreciate all the, all the love and everything. And yeah, let's do this. V reading vlogs every Friday, hurrah. Um, yeah, oh, and then the last thing was something from my weekend away. So we've just been on a weekend away from my mum's birthday. Um, we went away and stayed in an Airbnb in Suffolk, um, which was really nice. Me, David, I mean, you'll see, uh, in one of the blogs that I've mentioned, um, we go away, you don't see much of the place there, but we went for a walk in the Suffolk countryside, went to a farmer's market, which is where this favorite come from. So when I went away a few years ago, with all the booktube girls. Do you remember me, Mercedes, Jen, Jean and Lauren, we stayed in an, an Airbnb in Suffolk um, and we went to a farmer's market one of those days and I had such a good time at that farmer's market. I said to my sister, if we're anywhere near it, we should go there because it was really, really good. Um, this was three years ago, so I didn't know if it was still gonna be as good. If it, it's got better guys, it's even bigger now. Um, so it was only a 20 minute drive from where we, we were staying. So we went and stayed there and I bought a couple of things there pastries, my sister got an amazing loaf of bread, um, and I bought two jars of pickled things. So this is pickled pumpkin, and I also got an apple chutney from Highways Handmade Preserves, which is in Rickin Hall in Dis in Norfolk. And this was a full jar. We had one cheese board between, well, David doesn't eat cheese, my dad wasn't eating anything. So between four of us, we ate that much pickled 
pumpkin it was so good but in general if you are in Suffolk and you get the chance or even sort of like in Norfolk I'm sure you could make it get to the Wickham Vineyards Farmers Market which happens every Saturday they had so much good stuff there like even if you didn't go to the Farmers Market they've got a lovely little bookshop there cafes things like that really really nice place and yeah I think it just made me feel really autumnal because I remembered when we went there with the girls a couple of years ago I don't know if I mentioned but I'll link that vlog that Lauren made down below because it's so autumnal and cosy um but yeah really really lovely place to go so there we go those are my July to September favorites let me know things that you've been enjoying in the last um three months again thank you again for all the lovely support it's been amazing and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video